Look at all these people. What do they need in their lives? Some excitement. A little magic. And you think you can deliver that? Magic. Thespis? Are you acting in another play? Ali... Allo... Alexios! Aristophanes' friend! And my friend, too. I'd be nowhere without your support. I suppose if I hadn't carried you out, you might still be in that tavern. On the floor! Thespis had this brilliant idea to put on a play in this town. He's got a reputation as a great actor, so I thought... This could be a huge success! I'm beginning to think I thought wrong. No, no, everything is under control. You keep an eye on the ticket sales, my darling Rodanti, and my friend Alexios will take care of everything else. I promise you, I know nothing about theater. Don't be so modest. You'll be known as the hero who made Leonidas and his 300 Spartans the play of the century. The play is about King Leonidas? You know, my family... Your family can come, of course. I'm sure they'll be proud to see you. Just help me tell that glorious hero's tale. I'll help Thespis put on the play. The story of Leonidas must have its due. Very well, then. I expect you to deliver. So what do you need done? Bring wine! Not for me, for our audience. So you think the audience won't listen to the tale of Leonidas unless they're drunk? They won't be drunk, just appreciative. Where are you keeping the wine? Well, I had wine, but then the local military commander commandeered... Hey, I should put that in the script. The Persian commander commandeered the, uh, casks. That's it. Then I'll have to re-commandeer it myself. Where is this commander? He kept the expensive wine and left the rest for his soldiers. An ordinary audience might be content with the cheaper drink. If we serve the best wine, we could get a more sophisticated audience. It might be harder to get to, but worth it. You speak my language! Better wine could mean a more generous crowd. Where are the two places the wine is being stored? Most of it is in the stable of Ares. But the good stuff? That's in the Miurgi Fort. I'll take care of everything. There's the stables. The wine in there should be good enough for horses, at least. That's the wine Thespis wanted me to bring for the audience. It doesn't smell great, but it should be reasonable.
I found your wine. Wonderful! Our guests will be in a fantastic mood before the play even starts. I sampled the wine. It's not vinegar, at least. Maybe I can offer some discounted tickets in the poorer parts of town. So, when will I be able to see this play? Well, there is a little complication with the cast. Finding them, I mean. You've lost your actors. None of them showed up at the last rehearsal. And the time before that, they seemed terribly discouraged. Someone might have been too harsh with them. No one will get paid if they don't come back. Exactly. There's three of them in all. They're playing Ephiatis, Xerxes, and the Enikis. I can give you an idea of where they might be. So, who's playing Leonidas? I am, of course. I trust no one but myself to carry the starring role. So Xerxes, king of the Persians, is in your play? Yes, and I found a tremendous actor to play him. He plays marvelous villains. He did mention that the Dispontian ruins were inspiring him. The Anikis. That was Leonidas' favorite lieutenant. Yes, and played by a charming young fellow. A bit of a nervous type, though. I was surprised when he told me he was going gambling in the great square here in Elise. So the traitor, Ephialtes, is missing. What a surprise. Usually, my good friend Tros is dedicated to his craft. But the last time we spoke, he seemed touched by a certain religious fervor. He said he would pray at the Spring of Piera. I hope the actors turn up. When you find our actors, send them back to me. And do your best to encourage them. Our performance will be terrible if the actors' hearts aren't in it. And that means no one will pay us. Got it. This is terrible. I'm really going to need the Leonidas to get out of this mess. Are you playing the Anikis for Thespis? I was, but now I can't. I lost all I had gambling with the commander. Now he says I'm his slave until I pay off the debt. I'll be working for him for years. All right. Let's settle this debt. Oh, thank you. The commander is right over there. <laughs> you want to play another game? So glad you brought company. No, I... well... I need my friend back. He's due to act in a play. I think it's time you let him leave. What's the play? Leonidas and his 300 Spartans. This man plays the Enikis, Leonidas' lieutenant. Ah, a good military play. We need more of those on the stage. Of course, it would be best if they cast real soldiers instead of Nambi Pambi actors. I'm not! No, oh, never mind. So here is how it is, Mistyos. This Malakas owes me a debt that he's paying off with service. Do you intend to take his place? How about you apologize for taking advantage of this man and wasting my time? You dare speak to your better like this. No one will miss such an impudent tongue. Uh. Ah! This is gonna hurt, Mistyos! Yeah! <laughs> 
If you're playing the Enikis, you should be used to bloodshed. You're a Spartan, and the right-hand man of a king. But... that's a play. And this is... Reality. The Enikis didn't have that luxury. If you want to play a soldier, learn to be one. You're right. I can't be intimidated by a little bloodshed. I'll do the story of Leonidas proud. Good. Now get back to Thespis, and be ready to put on a play. Gods! Don't thank them yet. Let's get out of here. I don't think I could have survived much longer. 
Why were those Malakas keeping you prisoner? They were raving, convinced I'm the villains at play. They wanted me to lead them into a dark ceremony and tortured me to recite their spells. Nothing was enough. You're safe now. I am. But the witch has plans to harm the citizens of Elise. She says they own it her, so she poisoned a shipment of supplies for the city. I'll have to destroy those supplies before they get there. But now that she knows you're here, she'll leave her hiding place and flee into the wilderness. No one will be safe if she escapes. I can't let the witch escape. Who knows what she'll do next? Which won't hurt anyone ever again. Oh, thank you. That delusional hag turned her followers against me. But now that she's dead, I should be fine. Right? You'll be fine. You should go on and play your part knowing Xerxes is safe. You're right. Xerxes was sure of himself. A god amongst men. I should be as confident as him. I'm glad you see it that way. You should get back to Thespis. I will. And thank you. Xerxes will rule at last! Happy to have helped, your majesty. Have you come to learn about the mysteries of Hidoni? Sure, I'd like to know. Let's start with, what's Hidoni? Hidoni is the goddess of bliss. And since we all seek bliss, we are all Hidoni. I'm not seeking bliss. I'm seeking an actor. We have no actors here, only teachers and students. Look, his name is Tros. He's an actor working for Thespis. I recall hearing that an actor joined us, but now his name is Hidoni. Like mine, everyone here is Hidoni. Just give me a straight answer. I need to find that actor. I'm sorry. I'm the only one permitted to speak with outsiders. But if you pass our initiation, others will speak with you too. Fine. Initiate me, Hidoni. What do I have to do? Wonderful! You must complete two tasks to demonstrate your devotion. First, climb to the top of the waterfall of eternal joy and dive into froth of fantasy. Right. And then what? Then, explore the cave of deepest self-knowledge and return with the treasure you'll find inside. Waterfall dive, cave treasure. Got it. This is the waterfall. Now to pick a good spot and jump. <whistles> that 
That cave must be around here somewhere. Ah, that must be the cave with the treasure inside. what I'm looking for. I jumped from the waterfall and found the treasure. Now will you initiate me? You have initiated yourself. Welcome to the mysteries of Hidony. Hidony, go talk with your brothers and sisters. They'll be happy to meet you. I'll go speak with them now. Kere, are you Tros, the actor? Um, I... Uh, no. No, I'm not him. Good. Otherwise, Thespis is terrible at choosing actors. Are you Tross? I'm looking for an actor named Tross. What? I had nearly reached the third level of Hidoni's godly bliss when you interrupted me. Now I have to start all over again! You get on with that. It's probably best you stay away from acting. Hello. Are you Tross, the actor? You must be new. There are no actors here. Our only role is to be hidden, to inhabit her grace and tranquility. You sound like you know something about the theater. I wouldn't say I know much about it. I might have studied a little Aristophanes, a little Everybidius. Medea was robbed, you know. If you aren't the actor, Tross, you're certainly good enough to be him. Come act in Thespis' play. I'd like to help you, Hidoni. But I need to stay here. 
Work on my enlightenment, all right? Enlightenment is hard. The gods don't make things easy for us. If you truly want to follow their path, you have to challenge yourself. If you stay here and rot, you'll be a failure. That's harsh, but you're right. If I don't go out in the world, is my faith in Hidoni really true? Only one way to find out, and that's on the stage. Good. Now go report to Thespis at Pelops Market in Elise. And get on with your rehearsals, Hidoni. I mean, the Fialtis. Alexios, my muse, my helper, the one who saves my posterior. I require your assistance one last time. You've got all your actors, Thespis. Your audience is sated. So, what's the problem now? Leonidas himself is the problem. Picture it. I was rehearsing a monologue, brandishing my shield, encouraging my soldiers... Come back with your shield! Or under it! I believe that's with your shield or on it. No, no, I'm sure it's under it. But just as I gestured with my shield, I slammed it into my toe. And now I can barely stand, let alone act. It's a shame you have to cancel the play after so much work, Thespis. We are not canceling the play. We'd have to give back people's drachmi. The show must go on. My Leonidas is right in front of me. What? Me? I'm no actor. And I'm no general, but on stage I am. Think of it. You could bring the great man's memory back to life. He could live again through you. It's my destiny. I'll play Leonidas. Excellent. So, let's do a quick run-through of your lines. You already heard the first part. Come back with your shield, or under it! On! On it! The next part is directed at Xerxes. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods in wine! I'm pretty sure Leonidas said, drench the gods with their blood. I know what I wrote. Finally, when you confront the traitor, today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the kings will remember. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Leonidas battled for all of Elas and its freedom, not just Sparta. I'm sure you'll get it right. If you like, go rehearse with the rest of the cast. But if you feel ready, to the stage with you. I'm ready. Let's start the play. Welcome to our play! The heroic tale of King Leonidas and his 300 Spartans! Behold, your Leonidas! Thank you for being here. Remember that Leonidas was not only a king of Sparta. ...but the savior of all Greeks. I am the Anikis, lieutenant of the great Leonidas. I will serve him until Hades himself uh, comes to claim him. My commander, my king, we are outnumbered and outmaneuvered. What can I do to help? What does the Spartan general have to say to his right-hand man? Come back with your shield, or on it! I am Xerxes, king of the Persians! Your puny god means nothing to me! Kneel before my immortal self! You Spartan cur! I will grind you and your people under my sandal! How will Leonidas reply to his mortal enemy, Xerxes? 
The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! I'm Ephialtes, exile and traitor. I'll bring doom to the Spartan army by revealing a secret goat path to the Persians. The Spartans won't stand a chance. I have defeated your plans, Leonidas. What will you do now, fool? The traitor dares talk back to his king! What will Leonidas say to that? Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Great job, my friend. Enjoy the crowd's reaction, because I don't think Thespis will be happy you went off script. I think I can take care of him. I can't believe it! You ruined my perfect script! Didn't you hear the crowd? They wanted to hear the real story of Leonidas. I should know. He was my grandfather. <laughs> you never stop performing. I love that. You almost had me convinced, you joker. Here, you're part of the take. Thanks. Maybe I'm more of an actor than I thought. Kishon Arkhavov. 